Well, good morning, friends. It is a very cool fall morning. It is 16 degrees out this morning. So I've already been out doing a few errands with the girls and now I need to hunker down and just take care of a few things around the house. So I want to get all of our girls' winter fall clothes out and double check if I need to fill any gaps because like I said, it's cold. It's a cold blast here. I mean, this coming weekend is supposed to be 60s, but <clears throat> right now when it's 16 degrees in the morning when you get up, that's a little chilly. So I got to take care of that. Um, I'm going to get some supper in the slow cooker, just a pork, and then I also need to make a pie for a soup and pie day tomorrow, or at least a pie crust, because it's a butterscotch pie, and so I don't want that to get with a meringue, so I don't want that to get too, um, what did we say, like too wet on the top if I made it today. But there's just some things I thought I would bring you along with today as I go about doing some things. So here's my recipe. You can tell it's been used a lot. It's so simple and I'll just put it in the crock pot here till it's supper time. Okay, so the pie crust is one I don't typically use. It's one my mom gave me, it calls for Crisco, but it's a really easy go-to. So it's just flour, Crisco, water, nothing else. So that is why I did that one and people seem to really like it. So I'll take that to like public events. But I'm gonna take a break from the kitchen and go work on looking through my girls' clothes. I'm also working on some tea. I've had this awful cough and sore throat. So have our girls, my husband's getting it for like a week and a half now. So we're getting on like that hot water lemon and honey mixture and tea and just trying to kick this little whatever it is in the bud because it just keeps lingering. So I'm gonna go work on the girls' clothes and just double check what they might need to fill some gaps here. I've shared some of this with you before. So my two girls share this room and share this two drawer dresser. They have some hanging dresses in the closet, but I like to keep it pretty minimal. Um, my oldest has like four t-shirts in here, two pairs of jeans, two pairs of leggings, three long sleeves and like a jumper suit that she likes. Um, and then my one and a half year old, she's had several long sleeves, like a t-shirt and a couple pair of pants. There's some stuff in the laundry, of course, but it's just really nice to be able to have all of it in one um, drawer for all of them. And yes, it isn't always folded. Like these shirts just get thrown in because <clears throat> they like to pick out, at least the oldest likes to pick out her own clothes sometimes. So that's what it is. Um, Plenty of long sleeves in there for them. And then even their pajama situation is pretty feasible. So I might need to just take a few of these out to see what my um, three year old needs. My one and a half year old has plenty of pajamas for fall winter season, but <clears throat> I don't know, like I probably don't need a pair of shorts in there anymore <laughs> for sleeping with that um she doesn't really like t-shirts when she sleeps either so just a few things to go through and i will be getting some more clothes from my older sisters because i have a lot of older nieces than my girls and they hand down things to me so i'll be able to look through some of that just to help fill the gaps and that's actually happening tomorrow and thursday so that will be really nice to be able to look through that and see what else is needed so i'll just double check on that make sure she has enough warm socks um both girls have warm socks i also need to check their glove and hat situation 
because I feel like lately we've been lacking in the glove situation for them. It's more like baby gloves or our size gloves and nothing in between. So I'll have to check all of that out too. So I think actually everything is pretty good and set. But I'll check over the closet too just to see what else might need to get done there. I pulled up some hats and I did find some gloves in some of my totes. And we got snow boots. I think we're set for that. Well, another thing on my list today to do is to clean out this thing. This oven has had a lot of use lately. Um, and I want to just get it cleaned before the holiday season kind of gets here. It is disgusting on the inside. Like, I feel a little bit ashamed of how gross it is. But I need to get it cleaned because I think it's important to have it clean, especially before extra baking. It just... It needs it so I'm gonna even pull it out clean behind it clean the inside and hopefully it'll be a little bit more shiny for what is coming with holiday baking in the next couple months all right so here it is it's pretty gross thankfully I do have these liners in here and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw this one away because I have another one so it Oh, it saves the bottom of my oven so much. But like this is grease splattered. I'm gonna clean the racks. Like I said, the bottom is really pretty clean. So it's really just the drawer, the racks, and the sides. And then I'll get behind. Because I know little kids have their own Cheerios and food and other things under there. So we'll get going on that. Okay, so I used like the little SOS type pads on there and that didn't completely get the grease off. So I'm gonna try Bar Keeper's Friend and see if that works. But I got my grates all cleaned. Um, I should've worn an apron and I don't have gloves. But, so it is sometimes. I just wanna get it clean. I'm not too worried. I'll wash my hands and do that doubly so that I'm not giving food to the girls or something or myself and eating that. Look at that. Okay, Barkeeper's Friend is the trick for the getting the grease off of there. And I should have known that because I use it on the top of my stove. So I'm gonna close it up and pull it out and see what treasures I find behind it. Okay, not too bad. There's a fork and a lid and some Cheerios, like I said, but not too bad. I'll get that vacuumed out and clean the sides of the stove. Yeah, that's always a task to do. So my next task is to clean out this freezer. So I actually already took most things out and I'll move them to our deep freeze in the garage. But down here on the bottom, it is just frozen. Our This is my meat drawer and it all got frozen because of these the ice melting there. So I gotta let that thaw. I'm gonna unplug the whole fridge, I think, and then I'll wipe it out and Hopefully it won't take too long because I need to go take this stuff out to the deep freeze and then move it all back in. So I already pulled things out, threw a few things away, but I'll show you what I pulled out here. Okay, so I really just have like three bag fulls of things, like all my home 
frozen fruit and a bunch of mixed veggies like butters, um, tomatoes, some of my apple sauces, and actually this is uh, pesto, homemade pesto that I made. I have a lot of jars of those in the freezer there. So some things I can actually probably just leave out in the deep freeze and then chocolate chips I see keep in there. So I need to take all that out and get working on this freezer. While the freezer is defrosting, I'm gonna make some pumpkin banana muffins. I just found this recipe online from Joyous Apron. We'll see how it works, but I had some pumpkin I cooked up actually in my last video. And so I'm gonna use some of that in here. And then I had some overripe bananas. And then I'll use a mix of some um, white flour, just an all-purpose unbleached, and a mix of einkorn. and I like to do that. And then I might use some cane sugar and some maple syrup as a sweetener because I like to reduce the amount of sugar in them. So I'm gonna make that, that way we have some breakfast food for the morning and we have some company coming as well who will be here for breakfast. So that will be a good treat to have. Also I gotta say I'm catching up on Hillary's Vlogtober. I haven't been able to watch them that much. So I've got the recipe open here and her Vlogtober. I'm on day 16, so I'm getting there. <laughs> it's just when I have time, when kids are napping, so when I will check out some of my favorite YouTubers. Alright, muffins are in there. I only got 10, but I used these fun little liners. I got at a garage sale. I got like 25 for 25 cents. But. So I'll bake those um, and just see how they turn out. While the muffins are baking and the freezer is still defrosting, I'm going to make some one hour bread that I watched off of Hillary from Old World Home. She does that all the time but I thought I don't have buns for our pork so this would be a good alternative for that so I realized I kind of left you hanging with how the bread turned out and my pork but everything was delicious and it all tasted very good and I highly recommend doing that bread. It's so quick and easy. So sorry, no pictures, but it was amazing. So it is now the next day. We did get the freezer defrosted. It took my husband hammering out the ice chunks. It was like frozen out to here. So we'll have to keep an eye on that next time, but it's so much better. So now I'm gonna just put everything back in. And much better. Restocked.